So for tonight, I'm using the crock pot to help me with dinner. Uh, we're going to have a busy day in and out of the house. So um, tonight we're going to have cranberry chicken. And I have some chicken thighs, an onion soup packet, some brown sugar, and some gelled cranberry sauce. This recipe, I usually use cantaloupe dressing, but I am all out. So I'm substituting it with brown sugar. So um, the... The brown sugar you'll use three tablespoons with the one envelope of the onion soup. So uh, I'm just gonna start taking the skin off the chicken and load it into the crock pot. Okay, now I'm just going to start mixing ev everything now that the chicken's in. I'm gonna add, uh, mix up the sauce. I'm also gonna add some cornstarch to it to help thicken up the sauce. Uh, so it's not so runny. And you might hear screaming in the background because Sheely does not want Callie to help her get ready for the day. So, too bad. So sad. <laughs> okay, so here's my can of cranberry sauce. The gelled kind. You can use whole if you want. But, uh, and the onion soup mix. And three tablespoons. And three tablespoons of the brown sugar. Again, you can use cannellina. Whoops, cannellina dressing, which is yummy. But I have none down in our fridge storage room. I need a a sale. Okay, and then I'm just gonna mix this up the best that I can without making a complete mess. That looks good. Now I'm going to work on some cornstarch. I think I'll put three tablespoons in this cup. That might be good, two, two of these spoons. A little bit of water in there. Get that mixed so it liquefies. Need a little more, it's too hard. And I'm trying to find other things to replace cornstarch with. Um, and there's arrowroot and some other stuff, so I'm trying to get cornstarch out of our, di our diet, but right now we're using cornstarch. All right, that's mixed good. I'll start with half. I could thicken the sauce after it's all done cooking, but it's nice if I can help it along if I can. And plus, this crock pot gets much hotter than my other one but I was going to use my other crock pot today but this crock pot has a timer so when I set it for um, six hours it'll go to warm when it's done so that's nice when I'm not home but it sure cooks it gets really hot in fact I probably won't even need to cook the chicken for six hours with this crock pot on low um, I bet I could do five so Okay. All right. It smells good. So, whoops. So now I'm just going to pour it over my chicken. We'll get more liquid in there from the chicken as it cooks. Okay. I am going to set this to cook for... Oh, I'm going to shoot for five hours. So I'm going to select low, put my timer on for five hours, and then go from there. If it needs more time, then great. But And here is the chicken, all done. Um, the sauce thickened really well. 
And I'm pairing it with mashed potatoes and a veggie. Jonah's eaten early. It's like 5.20. He's ready for dinner right now. So uh, I have some leftover mashed potatoes, the chicken, and I'm going to pair it with some veggies in the fridge, probably some carrots and broccoli with ranch. And it is good. The brown sugar really uh, helped in this recipe where I didn't have the Catalina. So yum. And it fall it's falling off the bone. So mm, cool. yeah. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.